Good morning, my friends. Beaches are closed here in parts of Southern California, more specifically Sunset Beach. Here in Surfside, where I live, the beaches are closed. A juvenile whale washed up on the beach yesterday, and it had signs that it had been attacked by sharks. There was also some other activity observed by people, beachgoers, that indicated to the authorities that they should shut the beaches down. The closure is for 48 hours. <laughs> Hey, good morning, my friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California, on this foggy morning where the beaches are closed right behind me here because of some shark activity. Great white sharks like to frequent these areas, feeding the juveniles, that is, on some skates and rays and halibut and all of that kind of stuff. But we had a juvenile whale wash up on the beach near Lifeguard Tower 22. I'll talk a little bit about that in a moment. Some of the best Bluefin tuna fishing we have seen all year long going on right now. We saw that all coming. You've been following it here on the morning briefing, and it has been absolutely fabulous. Our horizon trip, however, we had very poor fishing, and inexplicably, we went down around Ensenada to see, I guess, if we could find a kelp patty with some fish on it. We'll talk about that also here in a moment. Some great rock fishing up and down the coast. They're still surf fishing. Great lobster fishing again at Catalina Island. That's been kind of up and down, but settle down for the Sport King. You know what time it is, my friends. It's time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Oh, my God. It is so good to be back with you all. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share these reports if you are enjoying them. Subscribe to the Friedman Adventures channel. And also, don't forget, you can follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and of course, Apple Podcast and Spotify. Well, it is great to be with you. A couple of really important dates. Saturday, November the 11th, our friend Eddie Leland, who just passed away, his memorial will be held in Long Beach, California at All Souls Cemetery from 4 in the evening till 8 at night. I will see you there for sure. And December the 2nd is our Christmas party. Man, I'll tell you right now. If you are a Patreon member, you get to bring a guest and come for free. It's in Redondo Beach. I'll give you all the details. Just send me a text. December the 2nd in the afternoon. It is going to be a lot of fun, and a lot of great people will be in attendance at our Christmas party. I hope to see you there. All right, let's get into it with you. And first of all, I have to address the Horizon trip that we were just on because it was really disappointing. Okay, and I'm not exactly sure what happened or what went on. I'm in communication trying to figure that out all right now. Part of the dynamic so that you understand, and the guys who are on that trip understand this perfectly, is that the anglers on that trip were super well informed, I like to think because of the morning briefing. The past several days, we had been saying, man, look, the moon phase is wearing off. The bite is going crazy. And then all of a sudden, you start to see limits of bluefin tuna. More boats with limits of bluefin tuna. They're all out there on the 60-mile bank. It just gets better and better and better. In fact, I pre-recorded a report that guys told me. I said, you know, sometimes I don't remember exactly what I said. I said, hey, more than likely, almost 100%, we're out there on the 60-mile bank, and hopefully we're whaling on the fish. Inexplicably, we didn't go to the 60-mile bank on this trip. We made a left-hand turn and went down the Baja coast, down around Ensenada, where we had very poor fishing, very poor fishing. Meanwhile, it was wide open, incredible fishing on the Bluefin Tuna. Now, from my perspective, I put Freeman Adventures' name on a trip. I have to take responsibility for this, and I'm fully here to accept responsibility. I don't understand the process, the mental process that led us down that way. It's wide open out on the 60-mile bank. We're going on an exploratory trip, unless there was some intel that I was unaware of that said, hey, man, get down here. It's really good. You can catch five yellowfin tuna down here instead of two bluefin, and it's really good. I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you on that one. So it was inexplicable 
why we made that trip down there and I still really cannot figure it out. The bite was out there and I have to leave these decisions to the captains of the boats because when I get on a boat, I'm not aware of the last minute intel that's going on. So I jump on a boat and the captain says, hey, we're going here. I'm not going to say, hey, bull, you know, you're going to go where I'm telling you to go. I don't, I'm not privy to that intel sometimes because I'm getting raffle prizes for our trip, uh, trying to get a nice menu out there, food, so that when we depart, you don't have to stop on your way down. We managed to do all that. But I didn't get a chance to get the last minute intel. I have to trust the guys. And based on everything we've seen before, the last trip on the horizon, we had an absolutely wonderful trip. Ricky Perez took us out to Tanner Bank with the rest of the fleet. We limited out on Bluefin. Uh, all the crew, everybody who's on board, doing a great job. So, I don't know. Maybe they're having a bad day. We'll have to talk that out. and Maybe Bill will come on and explain. I'm talking to Bill as we go along. We love Bill Wilkerson. There's no doubt about it. But that decision, let's put it this way, is just perplexing to me. I don't know why we did that. I, I just, I can't tell you. And there were too many people on the boat. Too many people. It said limited to 30 with 38 people on there. And that was something that I, I had no control over. I don't know how that happened. It just wasn't correct. So anyway, we don't run away from these problems here at Freedman Adventures. We face them head on and we will fix this. We'll see how we can work this out and make it better in the future. However, I really felt bad for the anglers on board. Hard-earned money out there trying to catch some fish, and we ended up making a decision that is inexplicable to me. Hopefully, we'll get some information about why that was a good decision, but I just feel bad and hope to be able to make that up to you sometime really, really soon. All right, let's get into it. It's been tremendous fishing. As you well know, Jason Lawler, the galley chef on board the Amigo, sent this photo in. Whoa! They had a 237-pound beautiful blue fantina on board the Amigo. It doesn't get any better than that. He said yesterday it was slower, but the day before it was really, really good. I met a guy in the parking lot when we got off the horizon, and I'm talking to a couple of guys who were on the horizon. This guy walks up and he says, hey, I want to talk to you. And his name was Kerry. Kerry, I didn't get your last name. I apologize to you, my friend. But Kerry goes, you're the reason I was on the Ocean Odyssey. You're the reason, talking about this by the morning briefing, I want to thank you so much. And then he proceeds to tell us about how they were in a drift from sunup to sundown. They limited out on Bluefin Tuna. He said it was incredible on the Ocean Odyssey. And then when they're getting ready to head home, the captain says, hey, boys, we're not through yet. Big ones. We're starting to see big ones. Knife jigs, let's go. And Kerry, congratulations. I think it was a 150-pound bluefin tuna. What a magnificent catch. Way to go. Over there on the ocean side, 95 limits of bluefin tuna. Jeff Yeomans and the 540 Slingers boys were out on the pride out of beautiful 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, California. And Jeff said, Phil, it was incredible. Wide open. We had big fish, Jeff said, to boot. They had several giant fish, and Jeff went on to say, man, all of this is due to the pride and their great crew. Sean Roberts, Michael Potvin, those guys on that boat work so hard, and more times than not, they are catching. So hats off to them, and so happy you had such a great trip on board there, Jeff. Really, really good stuff. Thunderbird, 100 blue fin tuna, a yellow fin, and six yellow tail. I don't know who the Filipino mafia guys are, but they look like they're a lot of fun. That's what they call themselves, the guys who were on that Thunderbird trip. And Dave Maestro was also on the trip. He said it was fantastic, wide open, big fish up over 200 pounds. They had incredible fishing on board the Thunderbird. And it was Dave Maestro's first time eating lechon? Dave, where have you been your whole life? There is nothing better than lechon. When I was in the Philippines, I spent a month there traveling, traveling around Palawan, kind of a remote area of the Philippines. And man, every chance I got, I'd munch on lechon. It's pork. It's crunchy. It's so good. Man, Dave, you screwed up my whole morning. I'm hungry for lechon 
right now. No question about that. Highliner limits on the bluefin tuna. El Capitan limits on the bluefin tuna. New low end limits on the bluefin tuna. It doesn't get any better than that. When we were out on the horizon, the full day boat San Diego had 107 yellowfin tuna. However, yesterday that bite dropped off to one bluefin and one yellowfin tuna. There is no doubt that that shorter area out of San Diego, and when I say short nowadays, I'm talking 40 miles, 45 miles, that is way more hit and miss. But if you get out to the zone, it is really, really great fishing that has been going on out there. Those fish still in those plunker kind of long drift bites are biting mostly on the 30-pound fluorocarbon. And you want to have everything from a 1-0 hook, which is pretty big because the bait in San Diego is so small right now, to a number four size circle hook. That four is something you'll be relying on a lot more. Even 25-pound fluoro is not such a bad idea. But having said that, you want to have all that heavier stuff. And man, you better bring some of that 60-pound just in case. Now at night, man, those are big fish. 300 to 500 gram lures really are working best of all. That is exactly what you want to be using. And you have to fish with two speed reels, 130-pound Spectra, 100-pound will work, 200-pound leader material. What a bite. I mean, some of the best fishing of the year. There is no doubt about it, as this has been absolutely incredible. By the way, if anybody uh, sees a great white shark sneaking up on me, make sure you drop a comment down below and say, man, did you see that thing? It almost got you there on the beaches. The beaches are closed once again here because of some great white shark activity and a whale that washed up on the beach down by lifeguard station 22 here in sunset beach california now that is right next to seal beach in between seal beach and uh i want to say huntington beach is the way to describe it to you this side of bolsa chica is where i am standing right now with shark closures taking effect gonna last for 48 hours all right my friends taking a look at the islands is this offshore situation has been good oh boy by the way Offshore, I need to mention to you that Wednesday evening, we're going to get a blow. And it's going to blow pretty significantly over where those bluefin are. It's going to blow through Thursday, and then we go back to beautiful, gorgeous weather. So we have a blip on the radar coming. There's going to be windy conditions late Wednesday. You should get Wednesday in, no problem at all. It's late Wednesday into Thursday where things could get a little bit more on the difficult sides. We'll see if all that wind manifests itself. And then it is a little breezy and then goes back to beautiful, gorgeous, flat, calm seas where all this great fishing has been taking place. No question about it. Islands, we've been looking there at uh, the Coronado Islands, uh, mostly rockfish. Guys are fishing the rockfish down there, San Clemente. There's been a few yellows and calico bass. Catalina, pretty good mixed bag stuff for the freelance out of Davies Locker in Newport Beach, California. They ended up with some bonita and seeing yellowtail catching a few at times. There's calico bass. It's not all that bad. Channel Islands, great rock fishing up there. It's been tremendous. There's been more lingcot, reds. It has been phenomenal up there in that neck of the woods. Along the beaches, we take a look down there in San Diego, and there's been some calico bass hits from time to time, but a lot of guys are starting to switch over and fish rockfish. Incidentally, the San Diego is going to run offshore until November the 10th, and then probably fish deepwater cod. That's what the Sea Watch did. Had good fishing down there. Same thing, Oceanside, Dana Wharf area. Once again, uh, we're seeing uh, some good local fishing around here. We've seen some great fishing on the Western Pride, the city of Long Beach. We've seen great fishing on the Victory, Marina Del Rey with good rock fishing up there in the Channel Islands. Some of those local boys up there, like the Island Spirit, they've had some good local rock fishing also. And I mentioned the Sport King. At, Cal at Catalina Island, they had limits on the lobster over there. They're running those kind of combo trips where you fish, you know, whitefish and rockfish during the day, and then you end up at Catalina Island for the nighttime lobster fishing. And it's been good with those Pro Mar hoop nets. You can get 10% off those nets by going to Big Fish Bait and Tackle in Seal Beach or by going to promarahi.com and putting in Friedman 10. At checkout, you'll get 10% off when you do that. Surf fishing's been pretty darn good. I got to tell you, there seems like there's a lot of grass in the water, but you can go work around that. Uh, you can fish uh, those honey badger baits. Those have been 
red hot for Richard Cayo and some of the people who've been fishing in this neck of the woods. We've also seen the little chrome crocodile work really, really well, like a three quarter ounce. And then of course you can't go wrong fishing bait. Sand crabs have been hard to come by. You can still dig up some sandworms in the beach or you can go to big fish bait and tackle in the beautiful city of seal beach california they have all your surf fishing bait needs you can get temper set off your lobster hoop nets and you can also pick up tackle not only for surf fishing but for the big game blue fed tuna bite we've currently got going on off the southern california coast it has been absolutely magnificent and I don't see it ending. I was telling you that. We'll probably get into that full moon funk next month again. You know, right at the full moon. And then about four days after, boom, it bites like it's biting right now. All right, don't forget the Eddie Leela Memorial. That will be Saturday, 4 to 8 p.m. All Souls uh, Cemetery in Long Beach, California. I will see you there. And also December the 2nd, make sure you show up for that great one. That should be a really, really great trip. As always, I can't thank you enough for joining us, my friends. I'll be keeping you up to date today. If anything breaks, watch for us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, as we'll have some special updates for you and on our YouTube channel with some shorts. Thanks again. Have a great morning, and I hope to see you really, really soon.